Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel Archituber. I'm Architect Webby and I make content related to architecture and interiors. If you are new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel below. So we are going to be discussing about non-verbal reasoning aptitude questions because these questions are very much important for you to score good marks in aptitude part. So you should be having regular practice to solve these questions and the tips and tricks as to how to solve it. So without wasting more time, let's start with the video. So in this uh, question, now if you see, we have been given a plan and we have to make elevation out of it. So when we have given such uh, question, okay, what you have to do is make it simply over here. Try to make it, okay. Then we have a box which is over here and we have a square which is over here so when you have such question simply take projections okay make a baseline or a ground line okay and then take a projection this will be a projection again a projection and again this projection and when it comes to this projection it is lying behind this box right so your projection will go like that but when you see in the elevation it cannot be seen this face cannot be seen in the elevation because this is in front of this box right so let us try to make our elevation okay so let us make our elevation we have our box over here okay and then our rectangle over here right let's remove the projections of that coach to avoid confusion then a box over here which is in front okay if you see this line and this line is not in same manner right see over here as well it is not in a same line so definitely this is in front so this is in front no, box is in front that's okay now let's remove the extra lines right and then your box number three which is like that right and you have a roof pattern so it will look like that let's remove our projection line right so this is somewhat like this now try to match it with the answer figures a is not the answer because you don't have any roof then b can be one answer but let's discuss about c in this c you can see a line over here so definitely not the answer and then we talk about d as i mentioned these two lines are not in the same line okay this is quite far away these two these two boxes in same line right so this is correct d is the answer now for uh, this question number seven we have to make a top view so how can you solve this question faster so try to make or over draw over the same drawing so you get the clear idea as how is your plan will look like so we have one over here then here follow the lines right okay now you can see or draw over here so let's make then you have a block which is like this again it is going over here right and then this entity and the remaining box over here right so we have to find something similar to this we know that we have one two three four and five surfaces in total so if we see one is cancelled because of these extra lines two also is cancelled because of these extra lines right then talking about two again it is cancelled because of this extra line and if you see the d we have exact one two three four and five surfaces so d is the answer it is that simple now talking about our relation figures so we have circle uh, cross and plus 
then we have one box and in that box we have cross again a box with a plus and again a box with a circle so in this pattern we have two squares then a plus two squares then a circle then what figure is missing here is x so a is the answer now try to solve this question so let me know the answer okay then talking about the relation again you have a circular pattern over here then a arch then a hexagon with a hexagonal pattern basically you have full circle then a semi circular design then you have a your hexagon sorry for the drawing but then you have again a hexagon right half hexagon so here you have a circle in this pattern and then a circle like pattern but which is not complete circle right so again we will have a hexagonal pattern over here but with a not completed hexagon so if you see d is matching with our answer right a b c are quite different this is not the answer we want so d is the correct answer similarly try to solve 12 and question number 12 13 and let me know the answers okay then talking about this question here we have to solve and guess how many triangles are there so let us make over here okay so this is one this is 2 this whole entity is 3 3 then this is 4 5 6 then this whole entity 7 8 right and then if you see i'll take another color One. That means nine. Then ten. Again, this will be your eleven and your twelve, right? So there are twelve triangles. Okay. Then try to. So this this plus line, the horizontal line is going down over here. Then going over here. so eventually this will be like that right so d is the clear now we have a mirror image and a side elevation okay so let us start with the mirror image you might be uh, thinking that this mirror image is very complicated but how you solve it in a very simple way let me teach you so basically you don't have to do or think very much so for this figure particularly you have to make exact same mirror image over here okay same figure over here now you know how many lines are there right then try to match it with the rest of the answer figures now let's start with d is it similar to what you have made no then c it is similar but then d is this horizontal line is extra so c is not the answer then in b if you see this triangle is extra this line is extra so b is also not the answer but if you see this line here this line this line then this cross again and horizontal line is matching exactly with this figure so a is the answer this is very sim simple okay So in this question number thirty three, we have to find elevation from the front. Okay, so let's make a box over here. Then we have this figure. Will it be seen slanted, right? So this can be seen like that. Then we have this box which is on the same height. So again, a box over here. Then we have this face over here. which is in single entity right so see this is done right and then you have a box on top so now if you see 
A is not the answer because of this line. Then if you see B is quite similar to what we have made, right? D is not the answer because this is again one extra line. And there is nothing present over here that is making it in two entities, right? And if you see D is also not the answer because it is dividing this part in two. We have this part in one, right? See, we have this part in one entity. So it is matching with the answer number B. So B is the answer. D is not the answer. So yes, that is it for today's video. We have solved about 10 to 12 question set. Okay. And in the coming video, we are going to be discussing about the drawing part. It is a highly requested video. So please stay tuned for that. And I'll see you in my next video. Till then, please take care and bye.